Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Another type of resource that you can create for use within your projects is the material resource. In the previous lesson on creating work resources, note that you had to select the work option from the type drop-down for any work resources, people, places, or equipment that you created. Material resource types are different from work resources in that material resources represent resources that are used or consumed by the various tasks within a project. So for example, if you had paint walls as a task within a project, it would make sense for you to create a work resource, which is the painter, and a material resource, which would be the paint. You could then use the material resource to track the usage of that material within your project file. Also note that, unlike work resources, there are often many tasks that do not require material resources within a project file. However, the ability to track that type of information is available for users who do need to track material use and often their associated costs within their project files. To create material resources within a project file, display the desired project file and ensure that you're viewing the data in the resource sheet view. Next, you would enter the desired material resource information into the next blank resource row available. You would be sure to select Material from the Type drop-down to indicate that this resource is a material resource. Now, if you are using the Resource Information dialog box to enter your resource, just note that you must select material from the type drop-down on the general tab when you're creating it before you click OK to save it. Now in a later section in this chapter we'll examine setting costs for these resources. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.